What's good? It's your boy Mighty Cuts, and today I'm gonna be bringing a another video, you know, talking about barbershop booth rent and um, commission at a barbershop, you know, and what will benefit you most going into a barbershop. So for me, this was a big question when I was first starting off. You know, I was like, damn, you know, what what would I want to do? There was a lot of basically confusion. I don't know what was what, and it was just a lot going on. So I'm just gonna break it down to y'all that way you guys can see. What would work better for you guys, um, depending on what you guys are kind of going through in your barbershop career. So if, basically to start off, if you're already thinking about this, you're getting ready to take that next level into um, your barbershop career, you know, to to start bringing in some, some revenue and some money. So the question you're asking, basically I'm just going to break it down. What is booth rent? So booth rent is basically when they're charging you a flat fee every week. Um, and the bar, you're just kind of giving it to the barber, to the barber. It's basically kind of like you're just giving them rent, you know. Every week, um, he doesn't. He basically, you're bringing in your own clients, um, you're making your own money, and, and then you're taking profit on top of that. So that's all you really need to worry. Um, commission now is where the barbershop owner takes a percentage, and you take a percentage of the money that you earn when you're cutting someone. So, for example, you cut someone, uh, they're charging. I don't know, say $40, um, the barbershop owner will keep 30% or 70. That's a standard percentage, 70, 30. Uh, the, when you're going in there, you could negotiate that depending on your, you know, what you got to offer. And that's something you would discuss with the barbershop owner, which I would highly recommend. Um, but if you're going in there, you're brand new, just, you know, just go in there and just kind of just see what you can do, you know? What the fuck? So now we're gonna get into the topic on as into as to what will benefit you the most. So what I would say, so let's start off with the booth rent. So if you're gonna do if you're gonna take the booth rent route, I would say you should have a, a solid clientele built up already where you're going in there, you you know <clears throat> that you have a, a a solid like solid clientele. Um and all you really want from that barbershop is you know, for them to provide the, the, the spot where you can cut, you know, a nice chair, um, a nice little compartment where you can put your tools, a mirror, you know, a nice environment in there, you know, you can vibe with the people. Um, and then your, that's your, your clients who come in there and you can kind of cut them up and they feel comfortable. Boom. That's if you're, doing, if you're going to booth rent, you know, you basically just make sure you have clientele because I feel like that's where it will benefit the most. Now, if you're barely starting, you don't have clientele. Well, ding, 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 you got to go with the commission because the reason being is if you're going in there on commission, the, the more people you cut, the more money you're going to make and the more money the barbershop owner is going to make. So with that being said, what do you think is going to happen? The barbershop owner will advertise you more. He's going to put you out there more. He's going to motivate you more to, to bring in more people. He's going to really make sure that you start build, building up your clientele because the more clientele that you, the, the more people you have in your chair, the more money you're taking, the more money he is. So that's what I would recommend. Uh, if you're a beginning barber, you don't have any clientele like that, take the commission route. It, it is a good route um, because it, it helps you do that. Now, if you, throughout the time, if you start building your clientele, you, you start noticing that it's consistent, then that's where you go and you, you, do, you, you check your books and then you, you decide if you want to go to the booth rent um, side because now if you could do that, but you want you want to see if you can go to the booth rent side, but you want to break it down as to, okay, I'm going to be giving this much in booth rent, this is how much I'm going to be taking home. If you're, ta if you're profiting more um, doing that, then go to the booth rent. But if you're making more money on the commission side, then, you know, more money, you obviously want to go over there. Um... Another thing people worry about when they first go into a shop is the first thing they say is how much is booth rent or how much is the commission da, da, da. and that should to be honest that should be the last thing you should be worried about to me um I think you should be more worried about what does that barbershop have to offer you know is it in a busy area what are the demographics you know is that the kind of styles you want to be doing as to where it's located is that the kind of clientele that you want you know um do you get along with the people in the barbershop, you know, the culture in there? Um, say, for example, you, you know, you want to do haircuts, you want to do perms, you want to do color, you're going to need a wash house. So that's the stuff that you should be asking. Do you guys have a wash house? 
oh, I want to do facials, I want to do hot towels. Am I able to do that here? Do you guys have the hot towel warmer? Or will I have to bring my hot towel warmer? Those are the questions they should be bringing up before you bring up the whole booth rent because the booth rent or the commission side, you know? That should be one of the last things that you, you should want to do. Um, because at the end of the day, um, you worrying about the basically the customer service and building up your skills and, and all that stuff is what's really going to bring your, your clientele. Not worrying about booth rent or how much it is and that's not going to bring you in no money, you know? So worry about that stuff when you're, when you're going into a barbershop, you know? Another thing too, if you're a beginner, you should be looking to see if are the people in this barbershop going to make me a better person? Are they going to push me to be, become a better barber, you know? Are, are they able to be mentors to you? You know, um, am I able to observe them? You know, kind of things like that. You know, like what kind of are they gonna make you a better person? I said, um, and at the end of the day, another thing people don't focus on is how do they do business, basically. And by that is, you know, are they disciplined? Um, do do they do their taxes? You know, correctly all that stuff. Because at the end of the day, you at the end of the year, you are going to have to do that, you know, do they have accountants that, that can help you out with that too. So you want to get in, 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 the, in the environment where they're going to help you all, all around with your whole barber career. So that's what you should be worried about. Um, I hope I did clear everything up as far as um, barbershop booth rent and commission. Um, it was a brief ex explanation, you know, as to like kind of what I tell people when they ask me about that. Just because I break it down in more simple terms, but basically... If you're a beginning barber, you don't have clientele, commission is your is the route because the person owning the shop is going to want to advertise you more, making sure there's more people in your chair, you're getting more practice, you're getting better. If you already have your clientele, you know, you're, you're, you're pretty stable and they're consistent and faithful to you and you think that you're going to make more money by just giving a flat, uh, you know, you're paying a flat fee for your rent and you just want like a nice little area then go booth rent, you know, you, you you probably will be making more money that way too, um, but also still worry about the culture and the environment in the barbershop too, because that could um, kind of mess up your your clientele. So this is your boy Mighty Cuts, um, I will be dropping another video explaining um, close and open, um, how to, you know, how to do the whole open and closing your lever um, when you're do doing your system, doing corner work. Um, I will go back to the basics with that because that's one of the questions I had when I was first starting. Um, now, if you guys have more questions about this whole situation and what I'm doing, um, you guys let me know in the comments or wherever you guys can reach out to me um, directly and, and I will answer them in a video too or I could just answer them directly to you too. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Um, you guys can also find me on Instagram on M-A-U-R-I underscore C-U-T-Z-Z. Mari, Mari Cuts. You feel me? Huh?